<laughs> anyway, well, I tell you, the volcano is a well-oiled machine. There's no doubt about that. And he has just <laughs> been excited. sitting back here, <laughs> ready, oh. ready, waiting. Go for it. Yeah, well, Nathan was glass half full with Carlton. Uh, I'm glass half empty. So my volcano is directed at the Carlton Football Club today. I want to take a listen to David Teague post-game yesterday. Our good footy's good. We competed. Um, we probably didn't finish our plays going inside 50, but um, once we started breaking even in the contest, I, I thought we, we probably controlled a little bit more of the game other than our ball use going forward. Oh, it's an absolute broken record. They've won seven out of their last 24 first quarters, the Carlton Footy Club. And I want to take a look at the start of the game. So Lordo's looked at Melbourne. I'm going to look at Carlton. And this is how they started the game. It is an unacceptable... I want to look at Petreski Seaton here and his effort. Look at this effort. Just slipped through Neil Bullen, who is not a household name in the AFL. That was an embarrassing one, but it wasn't the only one. And it wasn't the youngsters as well as the experience. Have a look at Kerno here. This is early in the game. Put your fist through this ball and don't let him mark that. I'm not sure how Petrarca even marked that. That's an experienced player, Kerno. This one's Plowman. He's a key defender. He's been outmarked by a skinny mid-sized forward in Fritsch there. That is not acceptable. And then this one. How Neil Bullen oh. marks this ball in and amongst all these Carlton players. Shift, move over, take some responsibility for your opponent. That was all in the first quarter. That's how Carlton started. It was the same in round one. It's been the same for the last 20 years. When is someone going to put a rock up the Carlton Footy Club and get them to actually get this game meaning something to them? That was unacceptable.